Dantrolene is a specific and important antidote for malignant hyperthermia, and its administration should not be delayed. The initial dose is 2.5 milligrams per kilogram IV. Also, you need to recruit help in the OR, not only to mix dantrolene, but also to help cool the patient. You need to be aware of arrhythmias and appropriate treatment, measuring uh, arterial blood gases, and electrolytes and coagulation studies. This is the malignant hyperthermia toolbox. First, we remove the security seal and unlock the box. And inside are bottles of dantrolene in freeze-dried form, 20 milligrams per bottle of dantrolene. Also in the toolbox is sterile water used to reconstitute the dantrolene. In addition, we have appropriate syringes and hypodermic needles. And underneath the tray are more of the same supplies. To reconstitute the dantrolene, we inject 60 milliliters of sterile water per bottle. This is a time-consuming process in order to get the dantrolene to dissolve. This illustrates the process of shaking the bottle vigorously and in addition warming the bottle at a time may help. And then we inject the dantrolene rapidly IV. I always carry this phone number with me. It's the hotline number for the Malignant Hyperthermia Association. And they have a Malignant Hyperthermia expert that carries this beeper 24 hours a day. It's a whole series of individuals, obviously. But uh, in the in midst of a, of a possible MH episode, you should call this number and get immediate access right in the operating room uh, within a few minutes to an expert on malignant hyperthermia who will help you guide your diagnosis and therapy.